Warning, the figure I'm reviewing today is a hentai figure. This means that there'll be nudity and sexual content. So this video might not be suitable for a younger audience or anyone who is offended by such content. And saying that, you're watching the censored version. If you want to see the uncensored version, you can click this box here at any time and it will direct you to a new video. For this to work, you have to be logged in to your Google Plus account as well as your YouTube account. And just remember that there is no shame in watching the uncensored version. This video is made purely for reviewing purposes and to inform people who are interested in buying this product. Additionally, this figure contains a certain fetish. To give you a hint, it contains a dog. If you don't want to watch this video, I completely understand. And may I suggest watching this video or this video. Otherwise, let's get on with the review. This figure is MD Comics Kimono Direct Housewife Misao, age 32, made by Daki Kogyo. This cost me 15,500 yen, including shipping, so around 200 New Zealand dollars. I thought it was cute and innocent with the dog jumping up for food, and then I saw this. And then I thought to myself, okay. So let's have a closer look at the box and look at the figure that's inside. As you see, we've got the box here. Apologies for any glare that you may see. On the side, we see a nice picture of Misao with the dog. And on the back, there's nice pictures of what you're actually getting. I find it quite interesting that when you see the me and Misao, there's a dog motif. So that's interesting, and I think it's quite a cute touch. Here's the bottom of the box, and when you flip it over and look at the top, as you see, there's a daiki sticker. When you want to see that it's authentic, you'll be looking for the sticker. We'll open it up. And inside there is another cardboard box that has pink in it. Pulling this out was a real mission. <laughs> And here we have the figures. We'll just cut off the tape here. That's another thing that you want to keep an eye out for when looking for fakes. It comes with another individual packaging here. So then everything's nice and tightly packed. As you see, they've got sellotape on them so they won't fall out. And first up, we have the dog's genitals and a collar. They're all bagged nicely. And then here we go, we've got another face here, which is really nice. I like the fact that she came with a second face. And then we've got Misao herself. She's wrapped up in a little plasticky type thing. And she's wrapped up nicely in a plastic bag as well. So she's kept all nice and safe and she's not going to get damaged. We've got the dog here. I'm pretty sure it's a golden lab. And again, wrapped up in plastic. So we've got the base which has been put tightly into this plastic. Took me a while to get it out. And on the back we see that it says made in China. So this kind of proves that not everything that's made in China is at a lower quality because this is made quite nicely. We've got the holes where everything will sit in to keep everything secure when it's standing. So first up we've got the dog's genitals and the collar with a leash. So we'll have a look at the collar and leash first. The leash is made out of a rope which is really nice and as you see it has a little loop so then myself can hold it unfortunately it's not a knot it's just stuck down with glue when you look at the collar it's got a lot of detail it's got holes and even a little seam so it makes it look really realistic so that's a really nice touch next up we've got the dog's genitals themselves i was quite surprised to see that this was in there because i wasn't expecting it this is the, let's just say, happy version. That's how you put it in. To the dog, I should say. <laughs> and yeah, so that's quite nice. And then we've got Misao's face. 
This one's a bit more sultry and she's blushing. And I think that it's really pretty. I'm sorry if you're watching this in the censored version and you can see those little sensor bars there. As you see her mouth looks like she's got lip gloss on and even her hairs have nice definition. And you look at the back and that's how you put the face on. Next we've got the chopsticks which when I first saw them I thought that they were actually made out of wood. It's just the really nice paint job that makes it look like it's wooden. Just be careful when you're holding these because they are very delicate because they're so thin. Next is Misao's fry pan. It's very nicely made. I think it's rather cute and it kind of looks like a replica. When you see the end it has a little hole to hold it up so yeah. Next we have a thing that is meant to be an omelette but I thought it looked like chewed chewing gum. She's uh, meant to be making food, so yeah. <laughs> and we've got Misao herself. As you see, I'm trying to take off her arm because I thought that's how you're meant to take the apron off. But that's not the way you're meant to take off her face and her hair. When we look at her hair, it's very nice. Got lots of nice shadowing and as you see, that's the bit at the back. So then you can put it back on. And then the normal face that she came with, it's very cute and she looks very happy. Again, that's the back. Unfortunately, there's a little scuff mark from the hair, so that's a shame, but you never really see that anyways. And then we've got the apron. I still was trying to figure out how to take it off. You have to slightly force it between her hand and her head, which I felt a bit uncomfortable doing. But they're usually made quite sturdy, so you can be a little bit forceful. And there's the apron. I love the bow and as you see there's the clasps to clasp it back on when you've got her on. I found it difficult to put these in when it's actually on myself but that's just something to get used to. Next we have the slippers. When you take them off you see that uh, there is some plastic. I was having trouble getting this one off. <laughs> so even her feet uh, kept nice and safe. These slippers are just cute. I really want to have a pair of these myself. And here's a close-up look of Misa when she's naked with no face on. As you see she has a lot of nice curves and the paint job is wonderfully done. There's a little collar on her arm so you can't really get away from the dog theme with this figure and if you look at her genitals they even have extra definition with lips so that's a really nice touch and you look at her breasts and the nipples are painted really nicely and even the collarbone is well defined one thing that I like about her breasts is the fact that they don't look fake it's kind of how they would hang at that size Next we have the two faces, here's her normal one. The next one is the little sultry one. So that's what they look like side by side. So we'll put her face back on, that's how you slip it on and then you put the hair back on over top and push it in a little bit and it stays on very well, it's nice and secure which is great, it's not going to fall off. So there she is, she's very pretty, I love her. Next we'll just put back on her slippers. Again, I just, I want these slippers, they are just too cute. This other slipper, I was having trouble figuring out, first you've got to put her foot in and then you've got to slightly lift the bottom of it up to put the rod through. Another thing that I had to be a bit rough with was trying to take the dog's genitals off. I never thought that I'd have to say something like that before, but there you go. Here's his little willy. And now we'll put on the larger genital that slips in nicely and it doesn't uh, fall out, which is great. 
because if you're going to have the dog out you don't want its uh, genitals falling off so there you go that's what they look together so there is a bit of a difference with size and we've got the dog standing up by himself I'm pretty sure no one would be having the dog out by itself when you've got the mesal to put with it but if you wanted to this is what he would look like I love how they've got little pads on his feet and just how well defined he is even his fur is textured on his back which is a really nice touch and then we've got the larger penis on and the one thing that I don't really like about the dog is the way that the mouth is open there's a weird seam underneath the jaw which is a bit of a shame and I'm not in love with the dog's eyes it looks a little bit lifeless so that's a bit of a shame as well but all in all the dog's a nice figure Next up we've got Misao and she's got her apron on and she's holding everything that she came with. So we've got the chopsticks and the fry pan with the omelette inside. I love the bow on the apron and as you see it's a little bit loose on her the apron but again that's another nice touch. We'll get a bit of a closer look at her and you see that the apron even has some ruffles and seam lines just to make it look a little bit more realistic. I love this figure and how much detail they've put into it. Apologies for the bad quality in camera. I'll get a new camera at some point, but until then, I'll do my best with the equipment that I've got. Now we've got Miso holding the collar with the leash. When you put the leash in her hand, it sits a, a lot nicer than what it would if you put the collar in her hand. I didn't actually think about putting the collar in her hand at this point in time. But with the fact that the leash is very long, I feel that this is the more natural way for her to hold it. Especially with the top part of the leash being in her top hand up there. Now we'll have a look at Misao in all of her naked goodness she has so many nice curves and the paint job is beautiful I love her tummy and how it does slightly poke out it's not flat so that's lovely she has a nice bum I must have to say and even on the back of her legs if you look at the back of her ankle there's a little bit of extra definition to make it look very realistic on her knees there's also a nice definition so she again is looking very realistic the paint job is nice there's lots of different tonings on her body from pink to a bit more lighter which is nice and there's the different face next we've got both Misao and the dog. They do look nice together. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the dog out. They definitely work as a pair. Okay, so I've had her out for about a week now, and I must say that I'm very happy with her. As you can see, I don't have the dog out. I've decided to put the dog away, mainly down to the fact that it's not really my thing. I know that there are plenty of people that will have the dog out, but it's just not my taste. The main things I am very happy about is her sculpt in general, and how she's painted. She is beautiful. Her curves, she has lots of curves. And that's the main thing that I love about her is that she's not just a stick figure of a figurine because a lot of figurines that do have their clothes off are usually very board like around the stomach and around their legs. 
Sure, they have big boobs, but I still find it stick figure-ish if you have a flat stomach. So as you see here, I've got another figure that I own. She's a cast off as well. And I find it interesting that Misao is a lot warmer than this figurine here, skin-wise. Her skin is a lot more pink, where this one is definitely a lot softer white, which I find quite interesting and I quite like actually. I have been displaying her like this with all her naked glory. I have two reasons why I've been displaying her like this and not with this lovely thing. It's mainly down to the fact that A, I'm a perv, I love seeing her naked, but also this obscures her face. She's on a bit of an awkward angle, she's looking down, so it rises up to her chin. And I find that a bit disappointing. Yeah, so this is very difficult to get on. It's meant to look loose on her, which is nice, but in saying that, the way that they have made the ruffles, it's very awkward when you try and push it between her head and her hand. Now, as you've already seen, she has two faces. She's got the one that I've got on her now, and then this one. I like them both, but if I had to choose a favourite, I would say that I like this one over the one that she's got on. The one that she's got on is definitely playful, and I like her little smirk and how happy she looks. But this one here looks very sultry. It almost looks like she's saying, please take me, I want you now. Which, I quite like that. I don't have her holding the little collar that she came with. Mainly down to the fact that it looks kind of awkward when she holds it. When I was first looking at this, I thought that she was actually meant to have it around her neck. But, obviously, you can't take off the back of her hair. So, with her just holding it, I feel like that it doesn't quite suit the theme of what they are going for. Especially the fact that I don't have the dog out. Overall, my favourite parts of this figure would have to be the little details. Specifically, how she holds the chopsticks. It's very true to form how people would hold chopsticks if they're standing that way. And I also found that the fact that they put little dots in the fry pan, so it looks like that it's connected by screws, how it would be in real life, it looks perfect. I think it's a really nice touch. On her herself, I love how she sculpted, as I said. I love how her back arches and how there are little crannies, nooks and crannies here, and she's nice and curvy. Same with her tummy. She's got curves around her tummy, which looks really nice, and her genitals. I love how they've put the lips and the fact that it also looks somewhat realistic. In saying that, the way that she is standing and how it's pushed forward a bit, that's the only problem that I had with that, because if you really think about how the female form is, I don't think that the way that the lips are sitting, it's a little bit too forward. But that's just me nitpicking, really. I don't know if people have their vaginas like that. <laughs> As I showed before, her slippers do come off, and when you do take them off, what I found was a bit of a shame is if you want to show her in her bare feet, she hovers, so there's a bit of space between the base and her feet. And so you pretty much have to have her with her slippers on. The other thing that I found is that the little rod that she has in her foot can slide out, so it's not very secure, so if you don't want to lose that, then I would suggest keeping the slippers on. Another really nice touch that I found is that they have put in fingernails and toenails. Sure, it's not perfect, but they've put a little pink tinge on where the fingernails and toenails are. And I think that was really nice to see that they put this on here. It was a bit of a shame to see that the hairline is as defined as it is. I understand why it is the way it is, because you do remove her hair and her face but it would have been nice if I could cover the seam somehow and also I thought that she could remove her arm and that was mainly down to the armband because in a lot of other figures the armband always represents that you can take the arm off so then it's easier to get whatever accessory they're meant to be wearing for example like this one as you see she has a silver armband and it comes off. So that's how they usually represent that it's a cast off as well because you usually see some sort of armband. In my opinion, I'd say the best way to display her is up high. Mainly because she is looking down. 
so it's really nice to look up at her at her face and all her naked glory if you want to buy this figure unfortunately as of recording this i can't seem to find anywhere that you can buy it i checked jlist and it's not on their site it sold out on amy amy and that's where i bought it from and there were some that were online on ebay but they don't seem to have any on there either the ones that were on eBay were going between about 300 to 400 US dollars as well. Mainly down to the fact that it has a fetish in it, so I can kind of understand, but at the same time, that's very expensive. So if you do really want this figure, the best bet is to keep an eye out on AmiAmi for back orders or any pre-owned figures, as well as keeping an eye out on eBay. They may come out second hand again, but as I said, they were hideously expensive, so you might have to pay quite a bit for this figure if you want to buy it through eBay. And that was my figure review of the Housewife Me Sale. If you haven't already, go have a look at it when it's uncensored. If you're watching this video censored, then you can click the box next to me and you can go check that one out. If you're watching it in the uncensored version, thank you very much. I hope that you enjoyed seeing everything the way that I see it. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big like and please share it out to all your friends if there's anyone that you think would enjoy this video. Letting people know that I'm doing figure reviews would be much appreciated as well because this is a new thing that I'm trying and I've got lots of figures to review. So there'll be plenty more up fairly soon. If you haven't already, go have a look at the rest of my channel. I do weekly anime recommendations, weekly anime news twice a week, and I've got so much other anime content on there, I'm sure you'll find something interesting to watch. If you want to chat to me or ask me any questions, you can either leave them down in the comments, or you can come find me on social media. I've got a Twitter and a Facebook, and I'm online constantly, so make sure to come like me and follow me on there. And if you want to see more content like this, and you want to see more from me, then make sure to subscribe for a wide range of anime content. From Waitamika, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.